Hello there friends and welcome back to the island of Larkshire. We have a beautiful blue sky day here with those tall summer clouds floating lazily on by. We have a ton of little jobs to do today. It's Monday in the game and I was checking in and I was like, we got all these things to do. Why don't we bring everybody with us? So that's what we're gonna do guys. All right, so. Uh, one of the things we want to do today is make sure that we hand out some giant clams to all our villagers because we haven't done it in a while. Look at Lucky over here in his Larkshire shirt having a good run around his new space here. <laughs> I love it. All right, Lucky, how you doing today, bud? I know you've been on this island somewhere, Wonder Bud, but I couldn't find you. I even stood outside your house for a whole day, except for when I had to go to the bathroom. I didn't think you'd want me doing that in front of your house. You were right. <laughs> My bug friends said I'd find you, and they were right. Let's hang out later. All right, we're going to give you a giant clam, Lucky. So we have some stuff to take over to Cyrus to get recolored. We have some stuff to move around. We have some stuff to place. <laughs> we have some stuff to build, maybe? I don't know. We got a lot going on. All right. wonder what kind of stuff I can make with this. A white painted wood wall. Okay, I don't think we had one of those yet, so that's a good catalog item that we'll sell later. Uh, Mary's at home too, so why don't we check in with her while we're right here. One of the things we're going to be working on today is her yard a little bit. Uh, we have the pergola in our pocket, which is one of the things we're taking over to Cyrus. See if we can get a little pink added to it. Oh, I just love how we did her house. I think we did a good job. Oh my gosh, Muffin, finally I get to chat with you. Yeah, we time traveled back to Caroline's birthday and then back and everybody thinks we haven't talked to him in a while. I legit missed you a lot. All right, let's make it up to you with a giant clam. And she's wearing her little sprite costume. It's so cute on her. <laughs> I just love it so much. Ooh, a giant clam. Thanks. That's super fab, Muffin. Here, I'll trade you. It's a pineapple aloha shirt, and I hear you love those. We do love those, actually. I think we have another one sitting out here next to uh, resident services because we were thinking about that being our next uh, who wore it best, <laughs> which we also need to set up today. Oh, Mary just came outside. <laughs> right after us. Okay, so yeah, we've got this purple one sitting up here, so I think maybe if we can make time, we'll run over to Harv's Island, get everybody to try that on, so you guys can vote <laughs> for who's wearing it best. So Mary just gave us a yellow one, which is super cute. I'm um, actually going to throw this wood wall into the storage real quick, and Flick is here today, so... Maybe we will try to catch a few bugs. I don't know. Do we have any bugs in our storage that need to... Um, that's what we're putting away. That we need to sell already. Let's just check on that and find out. Do do bugs. Oh yeah. Oh right. We have bugs for models. For models. But we only have like two of everything. <laughs> so we're going to have to look around see if we can catch another butterfly today. Uh, we already have some emperor. Oh, wait. We have three of these. Let's get a Madagascan sunset moth model. That'll be a good one. And then we'll hold on to the rest of those because those are all for models too. All right, Flick, come back here. And then there's Static too. We just saw him in front of those trees. <laughs> He's little, but we caught a glimpse of his tail. All right, I'm still looking for my soul bug. We, we have some bugs for you. I don't know if it's your soul bug, but we need a we need a model. We need a model of this little sunset moth. Noble Madagascan sunset moth. Can you part with three of them? Yes, please. There you go. We need to check our mail today, too, because we ordered some stuff. Okay, he's going to ship it by mail. We ordered some stuff, and do we have, like, one of those... Let's see. Um, can't think of what it's called right now. <laughs> the little storefront thing. That's what it is. Do we have one of those? Uh, we have a transportation stop. Do we have a storefront? Oh, we do. We do. Hooray. We need that. Let's move it to our pockets, and then we'll go check our mail. We have a little bit of room in our pockets still. Uh, we haven't found our bottle on the beach yet today, so we need to be on the lookout for that, too. I picked up a few of the seashells. 
but uh, not all of them. Okay, so we have two rodeo style springy ride ons here that we're gonna get out right now. Mary sent us something, Caroline sent us something. Oh, Nana A sent us some stuff. Oh my goodness, we haven't checked our mail in a while. You guys, <laughs> we're gonna have to come back to this. Let's find out what Nana A sent over though. This is for next time you're sick. Oh no, what'd she send? <laughs> and celebrate you feeling better and for your one year anniversary oh that's so sweet thank you so much all right let's see what she sent this one's for next time we're sick some medicine yay <laughs> and then oh a party popper for our first anniversary thank you so much that was so sweet okay we got two pocket spaces left and we're going to and yeah guys nana a's channel if um Nana A Gaming, make sure you check her out. I will put her link in the description so that you can go see what she's doing over there. She's doing a 30 day island challenge right now. Uh, I did remember that we weren't trying to do this fully on our own over here. And um, so Carolee from My Forever Island sent us some spooky fence to for uh, Lucky's Rock Garden. And then Mary... Bought this furniture because it was totally glam. Realized had no room for it. Do you want it? Okay. Thank you, Mary. Let's see what that is. Oh my goodness. Guys, this whole day is going to be like this, okay? <laughs> Just be prepared. We're going to be scattered. There's our spooky fencing. And, oh, a cute wall-mounted clock. Okay. That's fun. That's cute. We're going to throw that in storage because we do need our pocket space if we can get it. Uh, we'll put this medicine away, too, in the party popper. Actually, you know what? We're going to keep that party popper out because we're going to use it. We're going to use it because... Yeah, we just passed a year on the channel and that was definitely something to celebrate. So, woohoo! <laughs> Yay! Alright, let's grab this too. We're going to move that. So we're going to bring that back here by Abel's and I have a plan for this <laughs> so we're just gonna drop it for a minute um, but I want I just we we have stuff that needs to uh, get where it's going <laughs> oh my goodness like I said lots of little things today so we're gonna swap out this fence uh, we we decided and I totally agreed with the comments that said it's too heavy for the space and we couldn't see through to the rocks in the back and I was like oh but we're not gonna get the spooky fence until fall and then I was like well I mean we haven't been just like trying to do everything on our own here so there we go we got some spooky fence that's so much better now we can see all the rocks and we still have something that goes well with Lucky. All right, I'm gonna pick this stuff up later because we don't wanna overload our pockets right now. And there might be something that we have to craft later that could use some of that. So where do we need to go? What is this stuff? Oh, that's some of the stuff from, from the spooky island. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so the Zen fencing we can put away. We're going to be in and out of the storage a lot today, probably. Put something away. Oh, if we can catch Caroline, we also need to give her the yellow... Um, oh, what is it called? Sleeveless parka. The yellow sleeveless parka. Because she earned that in the last Who Wore It Best. And then, like... Every time we saw her, she was at somebody else's birthday party or she was at her own birthday party. <laughs> and uh, we just didn't get a chance to give it to her yet. So we're going to try to give that to her today. There she is. Caroline, get up, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> hey, friend. Swanky, long time no see. You must have been really busy lately. Feels like ages since we've talked. Yes, it kind of has been, but not really, because technically we just talked to you a couple days ago at your birthday party. <laughs> All right, here she goes. Sleeveless parka, you won the vote by one vote, by the way. She won it by one vote over Hans. But one vote was enough. 
Thanks so much. I love the color. It goes so well with you, Caroline. <laughs> As a thank you, please take my basketball tank. All right, so she's the only one that's not getting a giant clam today, and we'll catch Kiki later. Uh, right now, ooh, let's pick up the stick. Right now, we're gonna run over to Harv's Island. We're gonna get some stuff customized. We're gonna check the art. Um, how's our pockets doing now? We're not gonna need this basketball tank, and we're not gonna need this purple rose in our hand. So let's go drop the purple rose back over here with the other ones. We just, like I had it over in Mary's yard and just decided not to use it there. So I'm moving it back and we'll just throw this basketball tank down here too just to get it out of the pocket. I don't know. We may end up finding some stuff to buy over at Harv's Island so we want to have that space free. I mean we have Tortimer. Oh look there's our bottle on the beach. We have Tortimer over there now so we can put stuff in storage if we need to. All right what do we got? We have a recipe from Stella. A peach dress. And we already know it. Okay. Well, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna drop that over here too. More stuff to clean up later. Woohoo! All right, let's head over to Harv's Island. All right, here we are. We will just make the rounds, I guess. We'll start with kicks first because I, we did check in with him the other day, but I think it might have been the last week. Yeah. So he has different stuff now. Let's see. We got a red purse like this. I don't know if we have the yellow one. I like the little class purse. Those are cute. We'll buy that and we'll buy this um, brown bag that's next to it. I'm going to try to use some of those in one of my designs. Maybe the Abel's designs, I feel like, is where they're going to end up going. With all their little shop situations. If we ever get them done. <laughs> All right, thank you, Kix. Appreciate it very much. That is all for now. Let's check out the art. That is fake and that is fake. But you know what? We're gonna go ahead and buy one just to get it out of the way because it's Monday and we have the whole week to try to get something real in here uh, if we remember to come and look. <laughs> so we're gonna get this out of the way. See if he replaces it with something genuine. Let's see. We're gonna check in with Leaf too because we were looking for some orange tea olives. I think I think this is also on a different week. It might have been the same week. Oh, okay, that might have been the same week. Yeah, he's got the same bushes he had last time. All right, sorry, Leaf, not today. <laughs> And Cyrus, yes, we have some stuff for you to customize. Okay, let's get started here. We're starting with the pergola. So let's see what our options are here. So that's a nice option with some pink. I'm not the hugest fan of the dark uh, wood for Mary's area. I would rather her have some white. What else do we have? Hmm, those are all kind of dark. I don't know. Could we go yellow with, with her? Yellow flowers? Let's see. We kind of had some pops of orange over there. The wreath that she has on her door is the lily wreath that has the pink, orange, and yellow, I think, maybe? Could we get away with the yellow there, or do we need to stick with the pink? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I think we should try the the yellow. Let's just see what it looks like. We may end up going with the gazebo anyway. Or we may end up doing none of that because I think I stuck something else back there <laughs> that was another option that we might try out too. So we'll give that a look when we get back. Let's see what else we can get customized here. Um, the rattan low table, we just wanted to change this to white because I think no matter who uses it, we'll probably end up needing it in white. Uh, it, it may go over in Caroline's acre and it may end up in Mary's. Just not sure yet. We have a lot of little stuff to fill in here and there. To finish up. <laughs> figure out. So we're going to try to start filling in some of that. But we do need to, maybe at the very end, we will... Oh, that's really cute with the pink. Uh, go ahead and see what's going into the next acre. Acre 17. Yeah, let's get the pink one. Because we almost put this on Mary's table, but it didn't look right with the blue. 
So we put uh, an orange tart there instead, but we'll, we'll see about maybe switching that out. I feel like she needs a good cup of tea to calm her down. <laughs> Let's see, I sure am. Did we have something else? Oh yeah, yeah. One, at least one other thing. The corner clothing rack I want to use over by Abel's, but um, we need the white, this white, pastel. Oh, and then it's kind of pink around it. Hmm. So this white has like the red and yellow. Yeah, I think we're going to go with the pastel. And then... Uh, we need like a little beachy pattern because they're next to the beach. What can we put there? Something with pineapples? Ooh, not quite. <laughs> Maybe this one, maybe, let's see, what else? Now I'm not sure. I didn't realize it was like a long sleeve shirt there. Hmm. We may or may not end up using this. Oh, we could do like the little hibiscus design. In blue, maybe? I don't know if this whole thing is going to work the way I thought it was going to. How about little hula girls? Okay, I kind of like the hula girls. <laughs> what about this? Oh, that's cute too. It doesn't really go. I see. I don't think. I don't feel like it's gonna really match over there now. All right, we're gonna go with the hula girls and see what it looks like. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm gonna like that where I thought I was gonna like it, but we'll see. We may have to end up getting it customized again. Okay, let's see. We had one more thing in our pocket that Cyrus could customize. I don't even remember what it is. <laughs> We'll see. Oh, the storefront. Do we want to change the storefront? I kind of like the red one. I think that looks pretty good. It's going outside nooks. So I feel like that's gonna... Oh, the green is kind of cool too, though. The green's not really gonna match nooks at all. Uh, we'll leave it on red for now. And if we decide that it needs to change, we can change it. Uh, wedding arch. We could change that, but I was thinking about using that over in Mary's space. But I think maybe it's a little too fancy schmancy. I don't know. I just don't know. All right, we're gonna we're not gonna change it yet. We can actually change that ourselves if we need to. All right. So what rugs does Sarah have today? While we're here, we might as well do all the things. And I did already get. Oh, we'll get the outdoor window wall. Um, I did already get the money rock today, but we might check with Katrina just... Nah, I'm probably not going to take the time to do it, since we already did the money rock. Alright, yeah, we don't need any circuit board floors or anything, so we're good on that. Bye, see ya! Next time, all that. But we are going to run into your two harbs real quick and get our villagers into that pineapple aloha shirt so we can see uh, who's wearing it best this week. Okay, well that does it guys. <laughs> There's everybody and that will be over in the community tab for you to vote on. Don't forget. I try to remember to post a link in the comments, but I don't always. Oh, they followed me. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the island and finish what we were doing, which was a whole lot of little things. Hey, you two. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Bye. All right, we're back. Let's get back to it. Now that we have some stuff, the colors that we wanted it, we're going to go check some things out. See how it looks. Do some tidying up. Do some arranging. Oh my goodness. We got an island to, to decorate here. <laughs> Let's get it done. All right. No, we're never in a hurry. Hey, Midge. Wait, we didn't give Midge her gift of the day yet, did we? It's been a while, Muffin. I was worried that I might have offended you or something. Anyway, nice to see you again. You haven't offended anyone, dear. How could you? You're just darling. You want to give me something? Yes. Yes, we do. We want to give you this giant clam. Here you go. 
Oh, the other shelf we have back there is white and pink too, so maybe this will match. A giant clam, that's really thoughtful of you. Thanks a lot. I have something here for you, a bath towel wrap. Oh, thank you. We will be sure to not wear that. Um, but yeah, that has that's like the same color that we just chose to make this other thing. So let's put it over here and see how it looks. Um, what? Push it right up against the building there. And the reason that I want to put this here is so that... Oh, I guess that looks okay. I don't know, we might need to change the color of both of those actually to maybe the light wood or something. I don't think the white and pink is doing it. See, we have like the light wood on these uh, ironwood pieces over here. I think we're gonna end up changing those again. I'm not gonna do it right now, but we're gonna end up changing those again. And then we're gonna put our little dresser back here. So I like to have a, a place to change clothes that's right next to Abel's. And, um, you know, it can be a little hidden so that <laughs> it's not just a dresser sitting out there in the middle of somewhere. Okay, and we have a little yard of theirs to still do up too and finish up the little flower shop area. And, oh, didn't we buy some kind of little bag here that we're going to put? I'm just going to set it right there for now to go with that. And actually, I think I have another bag in the pocket that's going to go with the honey situation over here. Yeah, we're gonna use that one over there. It's got flowers on it, like the bees get the honey from. Uh, we have our garbage can still. Oh yeah, the glowing moss jar. Okay, that's something else. I've been carrying it around for days and it just needs to go where it goes. So let's see if we can, um, I can't climb up there anymore, I don't think. We're gonna have to run around the corner here. All the way down here, because I have all those jockey uniforms in the way. Which we haven't got another one in a long time. We kept getting them and I said, and I said, uh, let's try to collect them all and then no one's giving them out anymore. <laughs> oh well. This is probably a gyroid then. Yep. All right. An aluminoid. Oh no, there goes our shovel. No. <laughs> all right. Oh, we got some apples on the ground. I don't remember why I shook those down. All right, let's get down here. And this is where the honey jar is gonna go. We have to craft some other stuff for this area though. Like, I wanna make another one of those little ironwood tables with the wheels on it. And we do have one. Oh, we have a rampant flower here, but we don't have a shovel. All right, I, we have some extra shovels somewhere. Um, we're gonna need it for that too, aren't we? So let's go see if we can find some of our extra shovels. Ooh, that was a good bug there. We should have caught that for flick. <laughs> Oopsie, ran by too fast. Okay, let's see here. Do we have um, an extra shovel over here? There it is, nice. And do we want to dig up this? Is it a gyroid? Yes, it is. A babloid. Do we like the babloid? Let's see what it looks like. I kind of feel like we have mostly all the gyroids that we're gonna use. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's cute, but no. All right, just gonna run in here and sell a couple things and I guess see what Nooks is selling today. Have we been in here already? I can't remember now. I think I might've run in here once before I started recording. Oh, and yes, I bought some stuff. Uh, in that corner, little corner cabinet that we just put at Abel's was one of the things. And no, I don't remember what the other one <laughs> was. All right, we're gonna um, we're gonna sell the bath towel wrap for sure. And that's all there. Okay. Sold. And then we're gonna go out here and place our little rodeo style springy ride-ons in our little seasonal spot. Along with the storefront. Because that totally goes, right? Place this. 
like he's at the fence and then we'll put the other one, I don't know, facing sideways so you can see it a little better. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I think that's super cute. I mean, that's that's the extent of our decorating skill today, okay? <laughs> that's all we've got. That's all we've got. Okay, what else is in our pockets that we need to put down somewhere? Oh, the pergola. Okay, let's head over to Mary's Acre and see what's going on over there. We should be catching some of these bugs. Okay, so this was the another option that we were thinking about, was putting this little table with the coffee and the book here for sitting and looking at the waterfall. And I'm kind of actually leaning in that direction. Oh, see, she's taking care of her roses. I love it. I did want to take out this one corner one because we ended up with like a rounded corner up here and then this square corner just kind of looked weird. So we're taking that one out to even it up. And oh yeah, and I was thinking that we could put in maybe some of these cute little rose designs on the ground that we have and haven't used in very many places um, over here in Mary's Acre. It would totally go. <laughs> so yeah, we'll put a few of those down to add to the roseness of it all. Excuse us, Mary. Uh, whoops. Put one over here. I think... I think I probably am gonna just leave this. And then I dropped this over here because I thought maybe we could make her like a mini container garden situation. Um, either up front in this area, maybe up front in this area, because she's got a lot of space here. So we're going to start throwing some little garden containers over here. And I never did, I never did put up a vote for Villager of the Week, did I? I think we only ever came up with one candidate and it wasn't even a very good reason other than we just wanted to redo their house. <laughs> so, um, you know what? Whoops. We're gonna, we're gonna move those balloons over to Lucky's house and he gets to be just automatic villager of the week this week so that we can redo his house at some point. Uh, I'm gonna put the balloons on this side. There we go. Congratulations, Lucky. <laughs> Um, okay, so we have one container for the container garden. We've got the gazebo here. Oh, look at Mary just sitting there. Yeah, I don't want to put something that's going to block the waterfall. So yeah, we recolored that pergola for no good reason. Oh, but let's see if we can uh, swap out this pie for the little cup. Oh, I guess we're going to have to pick that up for a minute. Um, where's the little cup? The you know me tea cup. Do we like that better? Do we? <laughs> you know what? Now that she has a little cup of coffee over there, I think maybe we will just keep the little tart over here. I kind of liked it. All right, and we'll put the chair back, even though I think we decided we were going to change out this chair at some point, but we haven't gone around looking for a new one yet, so uh, we'll just leave that where it is. Okay, what else is in our pocket that <laughs> we need to take care of? The rattan low table, we thought about changing out over here, and no, I think we'll leave the pink table for now because uh, the roses are white. And then the only other thing would be, do we want to use this wedding arch somewhere? Or is that going to be like way too much? Because we could put it right there to kind of lead back to this area. And then we'd have something you know, that's that's not blocking the waterfall, but kind of adding to the situation over here. And I like that it has the roses on it. And I kind of think, I kind of think we'll leave the pink roses. We might just recolor it to try the white rose one. But I think because it has that design along the bottom of the little curtain and stuff, I think that might be too much. So I think we're actually just going to leave it just like that. But no, I wanted one. I wanted that one space further back. Maybe even two. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to do that instead. I like it. Okay. And uh, Mary got in the way, but we're going to put a few more of these little rose designs down. 
Actually, I think I'm gonna pick up this table first. Oh, she's gonna sing for us. Love it. And we'll put, uh, we'll put one right here. I'll try not to line them all up. I like them to be a little more random. There we go. Okay, so let's put the table back and then we gotta find her a little chair to go with that. There we go. And that works out in the white. Actually, should we change the uh, umbrella on that a little bit maybe? Yeah, I think we better at least take a look at what the options are. So we need that. We need to customize the umbrella and we need a chair. So we can get both of those things back here. Customize. Probably gonna have to buy some customization kits before too long. I think we only have like 17 left. Okay. Green is not terrible, but we'll probably just go with the pink, right? <laughs> That makes sense. I don't think we have like a, a custom pattern that's gonna do anything over there. Does this do anything? Yeah, no. No, we're just gonna go with the pink. Yeah, we like that. Customized a bistro table. Cool. Okay, so let's grab that and then... We're going to look at our chairs again, see if we have a cute little chair we can put <laughs> with that bistro table. Do, 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 do. Maybe a stool? It might be something else we have to recolor. I don't know if we can recolor these ourselves. Probably not. Do we want a vintage stool? I think if we were going to go that way, we'd go rattan? Maybe? I don't know. Can we craft something maybe that looks cuter with that table. Let's craft. Um, chairs. There's that chair. That one's too heavy, I think, but maybe the this one. And I think there's like a white version of this too, so it will go with the table. That's what we're going with for the moment, anyway. Unless we come across something else that works out better. I guess we could have done like a little stool, the little wooden stool. And maybe we'll make one of those too, just so we can test them both and see how it looks. If we have that recipe. I'm not even sure we do. And I just said continue customizing and I did not mean it. <laughs> Alright, should I craft something? Let's craft. Do we have that wooden stool recipe? Oh yeah, we do, we do. Okay, but now we need more wood. Okay. Alright, it's always something, right? <laughs> All right, what should we do? Well, to be fair, I did just put away a stack of 30 wood because it got full in our pockets. So we would have had enough if we hadn't cut down some more. Wow, we actually have quite a bit of wood in storage now, which is good. So we can build lots of stuff if we want to. All right, let's make this stool. Let's do it. And then we will customize that to be white as well. And then we definitely will have to buy more customization kits because we're gonna be down to like seven of them. Okay, so white, did I miss the white? Yes, I did, cause I was talking. <laughs> All right, um, and I think we're just gonna leave it plain. Yeah, we'll leave it plain. We get too much stuff going on over there. We need a few simple things. Uh, especially now that we added that rose arch, because that's a lot going on. <laughs> but I like it. I like it a lot. All right, it's cute, and it's very merry, I think. Hi, Mary. All right, we're just going to put you a little table in over here. Pull it away from the tree a little bit. Oh, I can't pull it because Mary's standing there? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, there we go. All right, I was turning the coffee toward the front and then we're gonna put the little stool right here. And I think I'm just gonna, oh, I'm not gonna be able to do it because, okay, hold on. Hold on, one second. <laughs> Let's just put down something. I was gonna say a little patch of dirt, but I don't know that I have like a little one patch of the dirt. 
Yeah, I don't. So, hmm. Do we want something there then? Nah. We'll just leave the we'll just leave the good old ground. Um, but we gotta pull this table back first. Do, 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 do. All right, and here's the stool. All right, so that's how it looks with the stool, and it can't get closer than that. So we may actually have to push that back a little bit, or this stool is kind of in the in the roadway there. Okay, so there's the stool, and it's kind of mm, not quite as white as the table. So here's the chair. Now that's also not quite as white as the table. But I kind of like that it has a back on it so you can lean back, and relax, chill out, have your coffee, write in your journal, enjoy your little plant, enjoy the waterfall. Uh, eventually there will be something nice to look at over in that corner over there and you'll be able to see Abel's little flower shop from here too. So super cute. All right. I like that. I like this. So Mary's got a fun little space here and we'll be working on a container garden for her front area here. Yeah, I like it. All right, we still have to figure out something for for Lucky's front area here, but we can do that some other time <laughs> because we still have a lot of little stuff. I'm gonna take this rattan table woo, over to Caroline's Acre and see what we think of stuff over there. Did we ever talk to Static? Carly, it's been too long. No, we didn't. You know you don't need some cockamamie reason to come talk to old Static, right? I'm just glad you stopped by. Take care now. All right, you're gonna have to stand up, dude. We got a giant clam for you. Something up? You want this? Giant clam. There you go. <laughs> oh, a giant clam. Guess you never know what'll come in handy till you need it, right? I don't want any freebies. Here, have a sweatshirt. Yeah, that's a great choice for summer. Thank you very much. Alright, um, I think we're gonna have to pick up... Oh, you know what? Let's just gather the seashells along the way. Midge, what are you looking at? Oh, she's examining. <laughs> she's checking out this horseshoe crab. What's this guy got going on? That's too funny. With her magnifying glass. She's taking a good look. <laughs> That's so cute. Alrighty. Uh, I think we're... Because we just needed one more giant clam. To hit all our neighbors. And I'm pretty sure that we probably got it from picking stuff up. Oh, we might need to empty our pockets a little bit though while we're right here. Let's just see. What what have we ended up not using? Not needing. Like the pergola and the gazebo. Not going to end up using that. I'm going to keep the pergola in the pocket for just a second though. We're not going to use the teacup. We're not going to use the class purse. Gazebo. Uh, we'll keep that wall. And we'll keep the wooden stool. All right, some of the rest of this is getting sold, but we'll sell it in a minute after we finish picking up teacups. Teacups? <laughs> what? <laughs> I got a teacup on the brain. All right, picking up seashells is what I meant to say. Um, yeah, but I think we're going to... She's got a little bit of wicker type stuff over here. We're just going to put this rattan table down here in case we decide to use it over here somewhere. Although, I'm not 100% sure... That's going to match over here. Now that I'm looking at it. We need to redo Caroline's house sometime too. Okay, Kiki's still over here, so we're going to talk to her. Uh, what else were we going to drop over here? I was kind of going to drop the pergola and see if maybe that fit in over here somewhere. And that may end up getting recolored again too. I'm going to put it right there for now, in the path. Uh, maybe one space back this way. I don't know. Probably not going to keep it there. Nope, I can already tell you I'm not. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, moving on. I thought I would, but I didn't. Punchy, how are you doing today? Huh? It's been a while since we've talked, I think. I've been having a lot of weird dreams lately. 
Maybe my jar of sauerkraut finally went bad? Don't know why. I keep it in a warm, damp place. Anyway, in my dreams, we talked every night. Sometimes you had two heads. So I'm betting that right now is real. <laughs> well, that's that's very interesting, Punchy. Yeah, I wouldn't eat any more of that sauerkraut if I was you. What are you giving me? We're giving you a giant clam. Ooh, neat. It's a giant clam. Thanks, Fisher. I wonder what kind of stuff I can make with this. Here is a vertical striped shirt. Thank you so much. All right, moving on. Kiki, we're going to make you stand up too. We're making everybody stand up today. <laughs> she was just trying to read her book. <laughs> Look who's here. How have you been? I feel like there was something I've been meaning to tell you. What was it? Oh, well, it's gone. Well, that happens, Kiki. It's okay. You need something? We just want to give you a giant clam today. A giant clam? Thanks a lot. Might come in handy for something I've been planning. Here, I want you to have my tango dress. Ooh, that's a fun one. Thank you, Kiki. You can go back to your book now. Appreciate your time. Let's take a look at this tango dress. Oh, very nice. Red. <laughs> that For some reason, that's not the one I was thinking of. Um... Uh, what the one I was thinking of I think is the flamenco dress so let's get up here and finish picking up our seashells not teacups <laughs> and then we will go figure out who we haven't talked to yet who have we not talked to yet we haven't talked to Hans yet we need to talk to Hans and who else I'm trying to think of where the houses are we haven't talked to Francine we need to find her she might be home ooh shark possible shark sighting it's probably a sucker fish. All right, get the bait in the water. There we go. <laughs> no, it's too far back. We're going to get this. All right, here we go. It could be a whale shark. And we haven't caught one of those yet. Gotcha. Ooh, it's something big. It's something big. Oh, <laughs> yes, I caught an ocean sunfish. Good thing I'm wearing ocean sunscreen. Nice. All right, new catch anyway. We got a dig spot back here. Uh-oh, the blue pansies are going wild up there too. We, we're going to have to take care of that. Another, okay, a squeakoid. What's that one? I'm just going to put it down right here because I think, where'd it go? There it is. I think that's one of the cute ones, and we might leave that there. Yeah, he's pretty cute. <laughs> we Well, maybe we should take him up to Lucky's Acre. All right, we do have some blue pansies that have encroached their way in here. Oh, no, that's not what I meant to dig up. Put the bush back. <laughs> okay, let's grab that blue pansy. Do we have room in our pockets for these? I think there's three of them. Oh, yeah, we can just fit them. Just fit this one and not that. Oh, wait, is there four? Oh, there's four. All right. <laughs> we'll have to come back for one. Unless, I don't think there's anything that we can do with any of the stuff we have here. Nope. All right. Well, we'll come back for it later. That's okay. We need to go sell some things. Um, oh, actually, you know what? If we run up here and donate the sunfish to Blathers, then we'll be able to come back and get it. So let's do that. This Blathers is right here in the museum. And we'll go in and say hi. See how he's doing today. Give him an ocean sunfish. <laughs> Something good to wake up for. Blathers! Exciting news! We caught a big fish! Donation! I don't think we have anything else to donate. Just that. There you go. 
Hoo-hoo, this must be an ocean sunfish. Might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your ocean sunfish? Why, please do. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. The ocean sunfish is a large relative of the blowfish with an unusual shape, like a fish head with a tail. They are a fairly relaxed species, often content to ride where the currents take them. This is fortunate as otherwise the sight of a large head coming toward you might be alarming. <laughs> and there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Rest assured, all donations are displayed in a tiny, timely manner. You have my gratitude. All right, that's all we got today, Blathers. One fish for ya. See ya. Okay, now we can go get that last blue pansy. And it looks like we got a blue pansy spawning over here too. <laughs> We're gonna have to get that one as well. And oh my goodness, you guys. It's time for the afternoon thunderstorm of the day <laughs> in real life. I just heard it start rumbling. That's so funny. This is summer here. Every afternoon we get a thunderstorm. All right, we're gonna make our way back down to Nooks by way of picking up the stick that's behind <laughs> Kiki's house. And oh my goodness, I just saw a bunch of flowers grown up in the campsite too. We've been neglecting our island so much. All right, we don't have room for this stick right now. Okay, let's get to Nooks. We gotta sell some stuff. Down the path. Now that we have some path. Oh, Kiki changed her outfit. I kind of like those little cowboy horses there. That's kind of fun. It's nice to be able to have a little spot to change things up. Change things out every once in a while. All right, Timmy, Tommy, we have stuff to sell. What are we offering? We are offering blue pansies for one thing. Definitely not going to use those anywhere else. Going to get rid of the sweatshirt. Yeah, we're going to sell that tango dress too. I will, however, keep the summer seashell. Sold. I bought one of those meals too, but I didn't buy that tea set. I think we already have one. I, I've been ending up with a lot of doubles in the storage, so I'm trying not to. <laughs> I'm trying not to buy too much stuff. Uh, we'll just throw a couple things in while we're right here like these and the pergola because I don't think we're going to end up using that somewhere right now. Um, I'm going to put these apples away too because our shovel's in the wrong spot in our pocket. Let's get that moved up. Oh, I meant to sell those 30 sticks too. You know what? I'm just going to sell them through the drop box even though it means I'm going to have to answer the phone in the morning. <laughs> Let's sell. Confirm. All right, now we can go pick up that stick and maybe clean up some of the other flowers that are over there in the campsite. We can't let this stuff get too out of control over here. See, we got a purple mum even spawning off these green ones. Now it's like, oh, which spaces were the, the original spots that I put these in. I don't remember. I don't think there was any in front of this little gyroid. So I'm going to take all of those out and then I'm going to take this one out and just leave those three, I think. All right. Did we have any growing down the front here too? Yes, we did. We'll take that one out of here. And we saw a stick over here too. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait. One of these is not supposed to be here either. That one's a little close to the fire, so we're going to take that one out. Okay. That's better. <laughs> that's better. Um, might leave a couple of these over here. Because we still haven't figured out what we're going to stick on this side. And that goes in that spot. All right, we got that. And what else? We have some flowers to clean up back here too, don't we? Oh, and we forgot to grab that stick from behind Kiki's house. Well, now I'm just gonna use the ladder to get up there. 
We won't run all the way back around. Just grab a stick and go. Bye! Okay, I gotta move this camera for a second. And I think maybe we'll just take this one out and leave those other two. It's just two, right? Yeah, okay. And then these are spreading out too, so let's get rid of those. All right, we need to put some little something here. I don't know what it's gonna be, but something. Maybe that butterfly model we just ordered would be something good to put there. Okay, this stuff isn't spreading out too bad. I just, oh, Pashmina. We haven't talked to Pashmina yet either. Is she home? She is not home. She's got some flowers overgrowing back here. These pansies, man. They just spread. <laughs> I don't think this one's supposed to be here either. I should always take pictures of these spots after I decorate them so because I can never remember which flowers we meant to put in and which ones we didn't. Oh, we can do this. Get our 10,000 bells out. There we go. And berry. I'm even going to let it grow right there. And put this away. Okay. And we already cleaned up this. Oh, nope. We got to get rid of this. Oh, and there's a big bug. Should we catch it? We have a lot of flowers in our pocket now. Sneak. Have we caught one of these before? I don't even know. Yes, we have. Okay. So we can sell that one to Flick if we run into him again. In the meantime... Oh, there's another big bug. Is that... Oh, we scared it. Okay. Uh, are our white lilies behaving over here? I see one that's not supposed to be there, and I don't know if we can get back there to get it. Let's get this stick out of the Hush Cafe. Can we get back here? <laughs> no. We might have to pick up a piece of fence for a minute. Um, that's gonna be like a whole ordeal, isn't it? All right, you know what? I'm gonna mess with that later. Oh, we got another stick back here. I'm gonna mess with that later and probably lay down some patterns back there so that they can't keep growing back there. But for now, we'll just try to clean up some of these that have grown up where they're not supposed to. Like... Oh my goodness, I can't even get back there. Okay, <laughs> what have we done to ourselves? Let's get some of this out of here. Yeah, all right, gonna have to fix that later too. There's gonna be a lot of picking up stuff and putting it back down and that's just a whole nother thing, isn't it? All right, we'll get some of these weeds out of here, some of these sticks out of here. Just kind of a little cleanup and touch up day today, isn't it? Well, we need days like that too. It's kind of a nice break from the usual trying to get something, something important done, you know? <laughs> Got another gyroid. A deutoid. Okay, that's like the little artsy-faced one, isn't it? Always makes me think of Picasso. Alright. Ooh, our weeds are getting a little crazy over here, too. Let's get some of these out. What is this? Oh, okay. This is just like trees that we threw over here. Um, these are not supposed to all be here. Oh no, but our pockets are full. Okay. Alrighty. That means another visit to Nooks. And I want to save a few of these flowers because I'm so I still don't know if we're going to need some of these. So let's throw down these mums here where Mary's house used to be. Because uh, I feel like we might want those green mums somewhere else too. Alright. Let's go sell. we got to find a home for that sugar too. <laughs> so many little things to do. We won't be able to do them all today. All right, guys, we have more stuff to sell. We're selling 
Rampant flowers. And then we will sell that. Um, I'm gonna sell that gyroid too. Yeah, we just don't need any more right now. Sold. Wow, there goes that thunder. Okay. <laughs> well, we're kind of at the end of our time anyway. Okay, so this little guy is grown over. Oh my goodness, so many. We have really been neglecting things over here, haven't we? We've been working on the other side and not coming and checking on the side we've already got done. I think those cosmos are all okay. And those are probably okay, but definitely there's too many of these right here. And which one do we want to keep? I'm thinking that one. Whoops. We'll leave that one there. The rest of these are going to have to come with us. Alright. So we went through here. Yep. Okay. And this is all okay. Nothing growing into the path here. We need to find Pajmina though. We still have a few neighbors we need to talk to before we can be done today. So we need Hans, and I think I saw that Hans was home. So let's check in with Hans. And we need to find Pajmina. And who else did we say we needed to find? Maybe those were the only two. We'll check our map in a minute. Oh no, Hans! <laughs> Oh, I can't stop shivering. Should I have not stayed up all night playing the drums? No, it was a great decision and I stand by it. Some medicine wouldn't hurt though. Well, you know what, Hans? You're in luck because a friend has, has helped you out. Uh, Nana A sent over some medicine. We're gonna grab it right here. Already being put to use. All right, so let's find that medicine. There it is. That was perfect timing. <laughs> All right, here you go, Hans. Courtesy of Nana A. Oh, two ah. Wait, that's not right. Uh, it may be too late for me. I have never heard anyone sneeze backwards like that. <laughs> wow, that's that's something. I'm sorry, I thought you just said that you have medicine for me. Did you actually say that? Yes, I did. There you go. Yes, I'm saved! Yes, I can feel the healing power flowing through me. Here, this is the least I can do for you. A baby romper? That is definitely the least you can do for me. <laughs> I think you... I think what I had is going around. Oh no. Yeah, well, if you backwards sneeze on people, I guess it will be going around. All right, we're just going to step outside here and then step back in because Hans should be all good now that he's had his medicine and we still can give him a giant clam today. Let's find out what other things he has to give out besides a baby romper. <laughs> Maybe he'll give us a jockey uniform. Hey, he's wearing the Larkshire shirt. The other one. Uh, Lucky had on the yellow one earlier. Is it hot in here? Trip question. It's the hottest spot on Larkshire. Oh, for a second there I thought he was still sick. Uh, do you want this for real? It's a giant clam. How about that? You got me a giant clam. Gotta love an island themed gift. I can't just accept this without giving you something in return. How about a kanji tea? We'll take it. We can sell it just like we sold most of the other things that the villagers gave us for giant clams. And where do we think that we will find Miss Pajmina? Any guesses? Oh wait, Francine. Yeah, we I gotta check in with Francine too. That was the other one. <laughs> I think that's gonna be everybody then. Once we talk to Francine and Pajmina, I think that was all. What are you cooking, friend? Oh, Swanky, there you are. We haven't chatted in forever, darling. You always look so busy running around. I appreciate you stopping to say hello. We've definitely been busy today, Francine. Did you say something? I'm entirely focused on the culinary arts at the moment. What are you making? 
Oh, I'm glad you asked. I'm making a mixed fruits tart. That sounds delightful. It's quite trivial if you have the recipe, Twinkles. All right, we'll take it. I hope you enjoy it. Absolutely nothing beats making your own mixed fruits tart. Well, we're not going to try to beat it, but we are going to give you a giant clam. You shouldn't have. <laughs> well, it's possible. It's possible that we shouldn't have, but we do. All right, giant clam. Thank you, Swanky. You're too kind. Why don't you take some silly glasses? Okay. Is that the um is that the ones that are like the straw? Oh no, it's those. <laughs> it's those, okay. And now we can make a mixed fruits tart. Yay! Alright, let's go find Pashmina. Hopefully she's just wandering around the plaza or something. And not lost in the museum. Although we haven't seen her like anywhere today, have we? No sign of her. I might have to do a run through the museum and see if that's where she's at. There's Lucky. We talked to Lucky. Alright, let's check the map real quick. Just make sure Pajmina's the last one we're looking for. We did talk to Lucky, Kiki, Mary, Hans, Midge, Static, Punchy, Caroline, and Francine. Okay, so it's all about Pajmina now. Oh, and I did sell a hot item earlier. It didn't go for much. It was just something small, and I can't even remember what it was now. Oh wait, we have other Nook Miles to collect. What did we get? True patron of the arts. Collecting artwork contributes to the cultural statement. Did we get that for buying a fake one? Interesting. <laughs> Maybe it was for the last piece of art that we donated and we just didn't check it. Um, museum. Oh yeah, I had to think about for a second where that is. So I'm going to run through there and see if Pajmina is in there. Uh, so that we can give out our last giant clam of the day. Hey, look at that. First room we come into. Pajmina, how you doing, friend? Well, look who it is. Hey, Reverb, haven't talked to you in a bit. I mean, I've seen you around, but I guess we've both been too busy to chat, dear. No, we've just been time traveling. Don't ask. <laughs> Do you want this? Well, what is it? It's a giant clam. Nice! I love how they still get excited about the giant clams, even though we give them one, like, all the time. <laughs> Surprise gift exchange! Here, take Pajmina's photo for the fifth time. Pajmina just, like, she had some photos made, man, and she has given them out. <laughs> I think that's so funny. Let's see here. Is this a good spot? good a spot as any all right then friends we are gonna end it right there for today and you know what i have to take these glasses off there they're just nope can't do it <laughs> okay all right there we go thank you so much for joining me today for another fun day on larkshire we had a lot of little things to do but we got a lot done and I sure appreciate you for hanging out while we did it. <laughs> Please take a moment, if you would, and click the like button for me. And if you're enjoying this Animal Crossing series, why not click subscribe as well and turn on those notifications so you can be sure to join us for the next one. I'll see you there, friends. Have a beautiful day.